Hey everyone, John Adolfi here. Welcome to a REO, that is a bank owned foreclosed property located at 3291. And here we are on Route 57. So we're in Volney. Fulton is that way, Oswego is that way. And we've got two cars can fit on the driveway. Looks like we got some waterfront over there. We'll explore that in just a second. Built 1949, 900 and some change square feet, two bedroom, one and a half bath. And we've got 75 feet going this way and 343 feet going that way. I'm gonna go inside the house this way and then we're gonna explore the backyard in just a moment. Here All we right, go. All right, here we go. So we got some kind of laminate flooring that's older. It may look newer on the video, but it's older. It'll do, we'll see over there by the door or excuse me, by the sliding glass door. Yep. But, okay, so we've got a smallish but long living room. Baseboard, hot water, heat, dun, dun, dun. Always when you go into a foreclosure, and I've said this before in my other videos, suspect the hot water baseboard heat may not be working. The boiler may not be working and the lines may have cracks in them. So yeah, smaller kitchen, but cute, okay. Out back, all right, they got a board there. We'll come back for the, because that's potentially waterfront, I wanna spend a little bit of time there. Low tub, that is a low tub, and it's a funky color, all right. We'll go downstairs in just a second. Let's head upstairs first, see what we got. I'd replace this carpet right here, repaint. And we've got, come through here, we've got a clot. Oh no, there's your half bath. Yep, half bath right there and then bedroom. It's medium size. Okay, <clears throat> got another closet right here. And then, well, this is the larger side, two closets. Oh, this one, nice, very nice, not bad. I'd repaint, replace carpet, I'd put a um, low profile ceiling fixture in there because the ceilings are not, they're probably just about seven feet. So you don't wanna encroach on that space at when all. When I say encroach, I'm talking head space. Yep, when you have low ceilings, you do not want big domes. You don't want, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Ceiling fans and everything. Taking up the head space. Makes the room even smaller. Then you got a duck and everything and it's just not pleasant. All right, so hot water tank looks halfway decent. You know, boilers, uh, FYI, last like almost forever. They, they really are pretty hardy. So that one looks pretty good. But you don't know until you turn everything on with these baseboard hot water heat if any of the freezer damage that can occur in these types of uh, houses that get abandoned. You know, a bank takes them over, but sometimes the bank doesn't get them quick enough and freezer damage results. So one way to find that out prior to closing is have a plumber come over and do a pressure test on and a visual inspection. And there you have it. Okay, so public water, public sewer, and let's head back upstairs. Okay, we're on the back deck here. I promised you I'd take you out back here. So you got a shed over here. The walkout basement is right there and you got a little overhang right there, which is nice. Oh, the deck goes like here, down here, down there. You can also access your driveway from here or it goes all the way down to the back here. Now I am, let me just zoom in a little bit here. Not sure what to say about this. Uh, waterfront, if you want to call it that. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, okay, there's the river out there, and then it comes in here and it gets a little wet. 
I'm going to go do some research and I'm going to add a clip onto the end of this and then we'll sign off on this particular property. You're on the back deck looking out. This is what we were looking at. That water area right here and then the river right here. So the property line comes down here and ends somewhere before this area right here, which I was pointing out. The town owns that watery area. Of course, the river is the river. I also found out that um, before they foreclosed, they saw that all the systems were working. So just recently, that is. So the hot water baseboard was working, electric was working, uh, water was running fine through the pipes. That's a really great sign. So you can bid on this with confidence that you can have all the systems working. They have been winterized though, and that's a good thing. For those of you interested, give us a call 315-695-6434. Real Estate's awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.